As Singapore launched nine satellites last year alone, carrying technologies developed by local companies. It's part of efforts to grow opportunities in the space tech sector, supported by a $150 million fund to help firms research and develop solutions. Rebecca Mateo speaks with some players who are reaching for the stars and beyond. These rockets here send satellites to space that can be used to collect data, telecoms and Earth observation. In its seven years here, the firm behind it has managed to raise some 2.6 million US dollars in funding to develop hybrid rockets that are non-explosive. But it has been sending the rockets elsewhere for testing because of space constraints in Singapore. Still, the island state remains a firm fertile ground for research and development to take off. Singapore is spatially compact, as we all know, and it's difficult to find places for testing of our systems. Uh, so for that reason, we have to maintain presence in a couple of different countries internationally where we can uh, like quite literally find more space. Another player in the space tech scene is looking at solutions to fly satellites close to the Earth. This can help collect higher quality data of the planet through high resolution images and lower lag in communications. This chamber here mimics the environment in outer space with the absence of particles. It will help the engineers and scientists to test out engines that will allow satellites to move around in space. It has seen a seven-fold increase in component orders in the last couple of years, mostly from the international market. But it says Singapore firms still have light years to go before making it big on the global platform. Singapore is not, not very well known uh, in being a reliable, uh, or rather in being a provider of these systems globally. However, I do believe that uh, these things are changing very soon uh, as we start to produce reliable and robust payloads uh, for the international market. This means that uh, we need to rapidly gain traction and acceptance by the global market. An organization that supports the growth of startups in Singapore says there is a growing global demand for satellite-based services. That's as demand for a more connected world with greater accessibility increases. I think we are likely going to see an exponential growth in our low Earth orbit based small satellites and constellations. We are talking about possibly thousands of satellites being launched annually globally. Right? And this in turn will drive the whole downstream value chain of activities, be it in subsistence manufacturing, networking equipment, services and applications, where I think our space tech startups are uh, trying to venture into. Enterprise SG says it's seeing increasing private sector interest and funding into the space tech industry. They hope this can improve access to testing and launch facilities here. This can lower barrier of entry for smaller space tech players.